Oh my goodness, you guys, I love myself a good checklist. And today we are going to talk about a content creation day. The things that you should be doing, the workflow, the checklist, whatever you want to call it, so that you're able to create consistent content while building your business. Hey, online business owner, welcome to the Content Systems for Growth with me, Michelle Dewey. Are you ready to let go of guilt, stress, and missed deadlines? Are you struggling to keep up with the demands of running a household, taking care of your family, and creating consistent organic content? Well, you're not alone. Juggling all the to-dos of being a mom and owning an online business can be challenging. But here's the good news. By implementing effective content systems and organization strategies, you can streamline your workflow, increase your productivity, and find take control of your schedule. Each week, I'll explore content management systems and mindset hacks to help you rediscover your creativity, passion, and enjoyment in content creating. If you're ready to save time with systemized content marketing strategies and productivity tips, then go refill your coffee mug, pop in those earbuds, and let's tackle that pile of laundry. It's time to reclaim your time and energy while you take your business to the next level. Let's grow, friends. Do you ever find yourself in those cycles where creating consistent organic content feels more like an uphill battle that you'd rather avoid? I know, right? We've all been there and done that. Between juggling a million things and the thought of sitting down to write a blog post or to record that podcast, or film that video, it can be overwhelming. But what if I told you there's a way to break that cycle? Yep, we're going to talk about a content creation day. It's just a day where you focus your time on how to tackle your content needs. The struggle to drive traffic to your website is real, but it doesn't have to be your forever story. What is a content creation day? Well, imagine dedicating just one day to content creation. And you do this to help break the cycle and by getting you ahead of your content. Yes, a whole day where you focus solely on creating killer content for your business. This is what we would call a content creation day. It's about to become your secret weapon. Let's go ahead and dive in. How would you want to rock your content creation day? The first things first, you must be in the right state of mind for a successful content creation day. You'll want to come into the day excited about what you're about to create because nobody would want to have any dreary energy in their content creation day. Am I right with that? But to start, do you know when you have the most creative energy. As with everything, excuse me, things ebb and full, ebb and po, ebb and flow. You can begin to see a pattern if you actually pay attention to your energy cycles. Take advantage of those days and plan your content creation day around them. You want to black out a few hours leading up to that day to figure out your content calendar so that you can begin to think about your topics. Really get on board and commit to creating some amazing content. What's the prep work prior to your big day? Well, any great day requires prep work to ensure it goes as well as you hope, as well as you envision. You know those thoughts that you have in your mind where you see that perfect content creation day? I know if you close your eyes right now, you'll see it. Remember, there is no such thing as perfect. You just want to plan to get things done and the willingness to follow through to actually make it happen. So here's the things that I want you to consider or the things that I want you to put on your checklist. Before your big content creation day, this is what I would consider prep work. Creating consistent content is much smoother for me personally when I have completed the task before I begin. By that, I mean I'm not finding myself going down a rabbit hole on the internet looking at new planners or clothes. Maybe it's just me because I can't even tell you how many websites I've bumped on today alone looking at planners and clothes. You might be wondering how I get myself into trouble researching content. That will happen 
all that dang Pinterest ads in my scroll. That's how it happens, friend. Before I know it, I'm on some website wing and eyeing over something, generally planners and clothes. I know, right? That's not very helpful when I'm trying to plan my content for you. Because I know myself, all the research is done beforehand, but you do you. If you are a willpower master and don't often find yourself chasing shiny objects, you can do the prep during your content creation day. You know you better than anybody else. What is your prep work checklist? Well, first, all the ideas. Do you have an idea bank to pull from? Yes? Good. Go to your idea bank for the topics that align with your promotional calendar. Because, friend, your content and your promotional calendar go hand in hand. You know, kind of like peanut butter and jelly or crackers and cheese. No idea bank. Don't worry about it. This is a perfect opportunity to start one. You'll want to brainstorm all your ideas and think about your ideal client. What are their pain points? What solutions can you offer? And if you are still struggling with this, you could use ChatGPT. There's no shame in doing so. I like to talk to chat like it's my friend when I'm brainstorming ideas to see what they come up with. Sometimes it just pulls out a list of things that prompt my memory or things that I've struggled with in the past that I know that you guys are struggling with right now as you're building your business. And again, when you're thinking about your ideal client, what are their pain points and what solutions can you offer to them? The pain point that I'm trying to help you solve here is being able to create consistent content without feeling overwhelmed. But don't forget, it needs to be in line with your upcoming promotional calendar. If you're a health and wellness coach listening to this when it releases, the new year is only a few weeks away. I know, how crazy is that? And the new year, friend, that's your golden time. Right now, your content must be building up your email list and bringing your future potential clients into your funnel. Out of all of the ideas, what do you want to prioritize for your content creation day? Choose topics that align with your promotional calendar and sprinkle in some SEO magic with keywords that have the right search volume for you and the amount of traffic you get to your website. Okay, so this can sit on the border of prep and your content creation. Again, this is a you know you better than anybody else. Here's the thing. There's a bit of a gray area, but what's going to work best for you is what I want you to consider. Create an outline before, or do you want to create your outline during your content creation day? Your outline is your content roadmap, and that keeps you focused and ensures that you don't leave out any points. Do you feel better about actually creating those outlines before your big content creation day? Or do you want to whip it out before each piece of content? What helps you think better? Do you do better if you batch the actual outline and then recording? Or do you do better if you batch a whole bunch of outline creating and then you batch all the recording of that content or all that writing of your content? Do you need to figure out how you work best? When I'm actually researching my keywords, this is when I work on my outline so that I can use phrases and words that my ideal client is actually searching for. If you're new here, Uber Suggest is where I do all my keyword research in addition to Pinterest. Those two places. I like Pinterest because that's my third platform for my promotion of my content. On your content creation day, what's the game plan for your day or what would be your agenda or schedule? It's simple. All you do is batch create content, take a break, and repeat. Depending on your process, this could be batch recording all your podcast episodes or writing all your blog posts. You're focused on creating content for your primary form. At the end of the day, circle back and review and revise. Of course, before you hit publish, look at it again with fresh 
eyes and give it a once over because you want to make sure that it's polished and ready to shine. Did you know the future you is a consistent content creator? I want you to look ahead. Let's talk about the future you, the entrepreneur who doesn't break a sweat when it comes to content creation. How does she get there? By making content creation days a habit for her. Habit of the future you is what I want you to think about right now. You are a workflow master. Future you has a system that makes content creation a breeze. Do you know what else the future you has? She never runs out of ideas because she has them squirreled away in her idea. She knows her why and she aligns her content accordingly because she has a strategic mindset. Oh, and my favorite. Well, okay. It's not totally my favorite, but it is very near and dear to my heart. Time management. Because the future you loves the Pomodoro technique. It keeps her focused and productive. And what is the first step to becoming the future you? It's reprogramming your mindset. By now, you're probably wondering, how do I become this consistent content creator. It starts with the decision, friend, to change your thoughts around creating consistent content. It begins with your mindset. What you tell yourself matters. It shapes your reality. Start by reframing how you view content creation. Instead of a chore, I want you to see it as an opportunity to connect and provide value. Speak it, believe it, and you'll live it. I know, I know this from experience because I used to be you, the person that was a last minute content creator, always, always caused me to feel overwhelmed and stressed out. I don't want that for you, friend. I want you to reprogram your mindset into truly believing it in who you want to become. Okay, it's time to wrap this up. I have talked enough about it. So your content creation day is more than just a productivity hack. It's a transformative practice. It's about shifting from a place of struggle to a space of ease and flow. And the best part, you're not alone on your journey. You've got this. Your future self will thank you. Thank you so much, friend, for listening. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Yay, thank you so much for listening. I hope that you found this episode valuable and learned some actionable tips that you can implement in your business so that you can feel accomplished and less stressed. If you enjoyed this show, please take a quick minute to share this with your business bestie, subscribe, and leave a review. It helps me reach more business owners just like you. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future episodes, please reach out to me on my website. I've created a form just for you. Remember, with the right system and mindset, you can achieve the success your heart desires. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to chatting with you next time. I appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful week. And don't forget, let's grow friends. Mm -hmm.